Today we're going to take your classic margarita and turn it on its head. Not only are we going to make it blue, we're also going to add tropical flavors. My name is David Edwards and it's great to have you here today. So when I say turning this blue, we're substituting the orange liqueur for a blue curacao. And what that is, is literally an orange liqueur, but it's dyed blue. So that's one of our steps. Our next step is to also add a little bit of pineapple juice. That will help give us those traditional tropical flavors that you see in a lot of tropical cocktails. So before we get into this, this video was sponsored by the Vector Bar Mixology app for the iPhone. Having said that now, we are going to start this with a little bit of lime juice. So grab yourself a lime, give it a really hard roll. That way you'll open up the cells inside so that the juice will actually be expelled when you squeeze it out easier. So what we will do is we will cut this in half, squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters and pour that into the glass. Your next ingredient is going to be a one-to-one -one simple syrup, meaning one part water, one part sugar. Heat it up till it goes basically clear as water. You don't need a lot of this. We're going to use a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils. Your third ingredient is going to be pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. And what you want is for your pineapple juice to sort of sit for a little bit because it will actually separate. Now we're going to use a total of an ounce and a half, which is 45 milliliters. And by allowing it to separate, you get a slightly clearer fluid, but you still get all of that pineapple flavor. That way you don't get a specific change to the color of the cocktail. And our next ingredient here is going to be tequila. Now I'm using Cazador's tequila. It's Blanco or silver tequila, meaning there's no color or aging to it. We're going to use the same amount of an ounce and a half or 45 mils. Now the next part brings one of my favorite colors to any cocktail, or at least blue cocktails. I'm using blue curacao because blue tastes great. However, this is an orange liqueur by Bowles, and that'll give us all those orange citrus flavors and give us the color that we're looking for. But for this, we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Now, before we continue on, we need to prep our glass. And in this case, you can use whatever your favorite glass is. But what we're going to use here is a double rocks glass. It's 12 ounces, 360 mils. So grab your half a lime that you have left over. And what we will do is wet half the glass, then take that damp side of the glass and dip that in the salt. Now, the reason that I actually do half the rim only is so that anybody that I'm serving this to, either a friend or a family member, or even if you were uh, say in a bar, uh, that person doesn't always want a mouthful of salt. So that gives them two options to work with. So you're done with this, grab your mixture. Now what we're going to do is fill this up with ice. And you wanna make sure that you fill it up all the way to the top, give yourself a lid, slap it down, give it a flip, shake it with a smile, Now you wanna make sure that you actually shake this hard for a good 10 seconds. That'll give us the dilution and the chill factor that we want. So after that, you wanna just grab your pre-prepped glass. And what we will do is fill this with some ice all the way to the top. And then what we'll do is we will fine strain this to keep it any pulp from the lime or the pineapple juice. Absolutely gorgeous and such a beautiful shade of blue. So now we wanna garnish this with a lime wedge, just throw it on top like so, and then give it a try. So immediately I get a little bit of the orange from the blue curacao and a little bit of pineapple. Mm. Really good. I got a little bit of the salt there, which just kind of brightens up the flavors afterwards. If you like gorgeous looking margaritas that taste great, take a look after the recipe card right here.